it's like that feeling, you know, you, you, you put your heart out to prepare a meal and you get the reward of it right then and there. It's like a instant gratification. You, hearing some of the guys say, you know, that's the best meal I've had, you know, it just made standing duty on the holiday that much better. It was, it was better than my mom, don't tell her that kind of stuff, you know. So those kind of things, you kind of, you know, make you feel really appreciated and, you know, that you're doing good things. I am Senior Chief Culinary Specialist Derek Davenport and I'm the Senior Enlisted Aide to the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. A uh, typical day um, as an Enlisted Aide, uh, Special Program Culinary Specialist, uh, we do household management, um, we maintain uh, our primary or principal's uniforms um, and just make sure you know things go smoothly because you know traveling can be a little um, intense especially when you're on foreign soil. Uh, and we do all the cooking for entertaining. Um, my boss, as, as we say, he uh, hosts his counterparts, other heads of uh, militaries, and sometimes heads of, heads of uh, defenses. And we cook for them when they come into the country. And it's a snapshot of who we are, so we put our best foot forward and um, try to you know, give them that wow factor when they come to around the table because a lot of times around the table is a nice place to conduct business and you can eat and enjoy your meal and have conversation so you get the show you know showcase your your talents and skills and abilities on some plates of food that hopefully they enjoy and hopefully it builds a bridge between our two countries and just helps that international dialogue it's a challenge every day. Um, you have to be flexible and you just never know what's going to happen. It's never a dull moment. Days go by fast because there's so much to do. I was denied several times um, as a junior sailor for positions like these. And then I kept screening after that. And so it took me eight years to get to the place where, you know, I, I wanted to do something a little special, a little bit different uh, in this type of environment. So I'm very fortunate. You can't give up on it if it's something you want to do. I mean, you're, you're in charge of your own career for, for the most part. Just do the right things, work hard, learn as much as you can, keep plodding away, and it'll come sooner or later. Unbeknownst to me, before I even took this assignment, the Army had a team that competes at the Culinary Olympics. Um, I was the first Navy to make the team, <laughs> and I got to compete um, at the Olympics, Culinary Olympics, last year in Erfurt, Germany. And so it's pretty cool. Um, walk away with a gold and a silver medal at the Culinary Olympics. And I just was appointed this past um, year as the team captain for the next Olympic team. Armed Forces Chef of the Year. I won that this past year. And I competed against 18 other chefs from every branch in the military. And they put some phenomenal food out anywhere from ice carvings to chocolate sculptures and sugar cult sculptures to live cooking events where you have to cook your favorite dish and present it before the judges to a mystery basket competition. That particular competition has been around for 38 years. It's the second time the Navy's won in the history of the, the competition so that was very a very proud moment. <clears throat> And uh, I kind of rub it in um, at, at work because I work with all Army folks. <laughs> I say, Navy does it again, you know, not just football, you know. <laughs> I'd like to work at the White House. That's always uh, been a career goal. Uh, and I want to get back into a fleet concentration area where I can give, give back, someplace where I can have a little bit more scope of impact among sailors. Uh, I, I do that now, training the other special programs, uh, enlisted aides, culinary specialists in the area, DC area, and we train twice a month. And that kind of, it really brights my day to get put back and give back uh, stuff that's been passed on to me for all these years that I've been working. I've experienced a lot of different avenues of cooking, both civilian, on a submarine, boots on ground in Afghanistan and now here at the Pentagon and, and I cook really good too so <laughs> that's an added bonus. <laughs>